Hey, what's going on, man? Hey. Greetings of everyone with a vehicle around 2005 to present day, and you either got Sync, Uconnect, or OnStar. Sitting in a Chevy Red myself, and this is the 2017 model. the disconnect or deactivate your OnStar and today we're going to be showing you how to do that. It's very simple and easy and this method is actually not going to be requiring you to modify any hardware but they are going to stop communications or they say they will under their policy. To be able to do this all you need to do is have a phone or you have to have OnStar currently activated in your car. OnStar will show a green light that's showing that you do have it activated even if you don't have an account attached to it but it is still activated still sending tracking your information and knows where you're going. How often you put your seatbelt on, how often you fill up your mileage and listens into your microphone. So if you want to deactivate communications with OnStar through the software remotely, then you can contact them. It's going to be an easy process. Now you could take it a step farther. I have another video where I modify the hardware and I remove the actual board of the OnStar communications itself and I unhook the antenna. So check into that video. Before even going that far, you can also remove the fuse, but apparently there still is communication. As far as deactivating, the easiest way to do it, and I'd say it's probably step one one and I think a lot of people don't want to tear into their vehicles they're not comfortable pulling apart panels unhooking boxes and this method should work with any vehicle that has communications with an outside company that is tracking your information I'm gonna give them a call here in a second now you can either use this number right here or you can press your button here, here on the OnStar itself if you look at your rear view mirror and then you go up a little bit a lot of them are within the actual rear view mirror around right here the button is green so that means that it is activated and they are currently sending communications back and forth between you and their database system. So the car is currently turned off and you don't have to have it turned on to be able to do this procedure. Put it into accessory mode either by turning the key into accessory mode or not putting your foot on the brake and just holding down the push the start button of the car. It will say push brake to start, hit OK. You'll be able to call OnStar. Now you can simply call OnStar by pressing the OnStar button right here and it should start dialing. Connecting to OnStar. This call may be recorded for quality purposes. Your vehicle is currently connected by OnStar to limited services. To renew or purchase services, say purchase. Purchase. To end this call, please hold while I transfer you to an advisor. I went to purchase last time. Tech team wasn't in. Hi, this is Eve. How can I help you? Greetings. How do you do? Oh, I'm good, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing well. I would like to deactivate all communications with OnStar in this car, please. Sorry to hear that. Can you tell me your complete name? Got it. Do you recall setting up a four-digit pin tag, though? I would like to disable the services with this vehicle and the other car that's also attached to this account. Yes, please. This also includes the access for you to use your mobile app for lock and unlock, remote start, um, and vehicle, or, or honk the horse and flash the lights. Is that okay with you? Yes. I'll just send a signal then to disable this feature, sir, and the other vehicle is a 2017. Yes, I think there is also a 2005. Uh, well, I'm not seeing any services for that vehicle anymore, even the free one. So I'll just deactivate this coverage. I have two trucks. I don't think it's under the same account. Would I be able to disable those by giving you the VIN number? I Your OnStar call has ended. Goodbye. And well, it's easy as that because I just started my car. My car is currently running and I see no light. So some cars will show a red light there or a light turn off completely. Completely, so the car is now deactivated. If you press the button, this is the message you receive. Hello, and welcome to OnStar. Hello. Your Greetings. OnStar account is currently inactive. Please push the blue OnStar button again to activate your account. Learn more about OnStar services or speak to an OnStar advisor. Espanol marque el numero nueve. Door unlocks or stolen vehicle missing person. Press one. And cancellation inquiries. Press two. This will go technical this time. All website inquiries, including setting up online accounts or issues with activating OnStar, navigation or hands-free calling. Press one. Thank you for some asking. Call back numbers just in case the line will be disconnected. 717. Thank you, sir. What will be the year, make, and model of the vehicle you're calling in about? 2013 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Okay, sir. How can I help you, sir? That vehicle, sir, does it have an active account here in OnStar? Yes, sir. That vehicle, sir, does it have an active account here in OnStar? I did try to pull up the information for this vehicle. However, sir, I wasn't able to find anything. Do you have the VIN of that vehicle, sir? Yes, I do. It's one, yeah. Okay, let me repeat it for you, sir, just to make sure that will be one. Do you remember your four-digit OnStar PIN code so that we can access the account, sir? Okay, thank you. Let me try to, try to access the account, sir. I would like to disable all communication with OnStar in the vehicle. Sir, everything 
is deactivated already on this vehicle. The date that, that this vehicle has been disabled like around uh, four years ago, it will be manually here in our system, sir. And you haven't been able to fade it for a couple of months, then ARSA will start to deactivate the ARSA unit completely. Or it can be done manually here in our system, sir. Or if the vehicle was already been traded. I have one other vehicle, if that's okay, if I can give you the VIN for for that one. One. Okay, let me repeat it for you, sir. That will be one. This is a Chevrolet. Deactivate all communications with that vehicle as well. Yeah, when checking, sir, this vehicle is currently inactive. You cannot provide any information. This will be the case, sir, since... Not even the limited services or anything with that one? No, sir. Process stops all communications with OnStar. There's no yeah. more. I appreciate all the help. Okay, thanks. Have a good day. Thanks. There you have it, folks. I think that's all you need to do and made the confirmation that there's going to be no more communications with any of these vehicles. I just called in for about five vehicles, and I think we're good and squared away. I think that's it for now. There's nothing else you really need to do. The light will either turn clear as it is now. There's no light, or it will turn red. It depends on your vehicle model. You're good to go. OnStar should stop communications with your vehicle. And you may be asking, why I want to do this? Well, you just want to stop the tracking just not something that i want to have it's just for the peace of mind 1984 wheelian thank you i don't want to scare anybody but i even read online that people have been charged even after they canceled their free subscription or their free trial period of three months and then they would cancel and then still even get charged after canceling their service so it's not something that i want to have to deal with not something that i really need go a step farther pull the fuse modify the hardware and then you'll be good to go i just want to help everyone out a little bit of how to a little bit of tutorial in this video I really do appreciate you guys watching this one and I think it's a bit better than my other video because this one's more straightforward If you enjoyed this video, you got a little education out of it. Leave a like. I really do appreciate it I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. That's what I'm talking about dog